it was just me and this uh, this one guy. We were just like the best of friends. We always hung out. Uh, we always went everywhere together as far as college goes. After we got back from winter break, he had a new girlfriend. <laughs> At first, it was very uh, light, essentially. She uh, kind of made like stereotypical kind of jokes. She was like, hey, can you help me out with some math problems and stuff like that, you know, just assuming. And I told her like, oh, I'm not really good at math and all that. And she kind of looked at me very puzzled, like, but, but you're Asian, like it's, it's just kind of a common thing. So she kind of made assumptions there, which they didn't really get me at first, but over time it kind of built up. And they got to a point where she just assumed my origins. She assumed I was from uh, other areas in Asia, so like Pakistan or uh, India, just because of the way I looked. And she always kept calling me, uh, because of my name, she, uh, rather than calling me, my name Zaki, she called me Paki instead. I'm not even from uh, Pakistan, but she kept calling me uh, Paki Zaki and kind of made like a nickname, like she changed my name on uh, our private chats to that. And whenever I try to change it back, she just said like, nope, that is your name definitive. That is who you are. That is what you are. I didn't want to lose that uh, friendship with him because of the fact that there wasn't really anywhere else to go. Uh, there are even times where after I've left, they'd call me and would constantly call me to try and get back and be like, why did you leave, man? We were just having so much fun. So they would try and pull me back in this situation no matter what, but I would try and leave because I just felt like I felt a lot safer by myself in that situation because I felt like at least then I'm not going to get any insults or like, you know, I'm not going to get anything thrown at me. Like, it feels like I'm just not being able to breathe when I'm around you. Like I'm here, I'm a living being, but it feels like I'm just not, like I can't breathe. This air is just so toxic that I just can't. I knew I had to cut ties because it was hurting me to even continue seeing their faces, uh, chatting to them in Messenger and stuff like that. It made me feel more like even when I was with them, it, it still made me feel quite alone, like quite isolated. Like even when I was surrounded by other people. If there were certain times where I could almost hear her words kind of echoing in the back of my head because at a certain point they did get to me because she was constantly berating uh, the points home, you know, like this whole Pakizaki kind of thing. I would say I I can appreciate some edgy humor as long as I just said it's a joke. And if it's ever like attacking me, like I would step in and be like, "Yo, this just isn't okay. It's attacking me or something I care about." And if they stop, they stop, and then we can move forward and continue, you know, a, a friendship in that situation. But if they would continue, it'd be a similar situation to the girlfriend where I would just have to cut ties because that is not okay.